provincial branches of China's biggest commercial banks have begun educating the general public on the dangers of crypto and money laundering, but it appears that the message that crypto and mining is bad isn't getting through to some public officials. Following the crypto crackdown on crypto transactions through banks and the mining industry this year, banks have begun displaying messages in branches and waiting rooms, warning their customers to stay away from crypto. Per the media outlet FJ Sen, the Dongshan County, Fujian Province, branch of the Postal Savings Bank of China has begun a month-long event that will see its staff go out into the county and inform community members that crypto assets are a tool of crime, and that they could incur risk to themselves by. The bank spoke of the need to meet its social responsibilities, and has named its campaign the prevention of criminal activities using virtual currency for money laundering. Staff members were photographed visiting a busy market in the town of Shpu to familiarize market goers and stallholders. The media outlet published a photo of a young female staff member speaking to an elderly woman in the market. The bank, along with many other leading Chinese commercial banks, has launched similar campaigns at other branches. Meanwhile, the state-owned Xinhua News Agency, via CN Stock, reported that law enforcement authorities in the Zhejiang province, as well as national cybercrime investigating agencies, had randomly spot-checked 36 IP addresses belonging to 20 state-owned entities in seven regions, unearthing a new. The operation found that government personnel at 14 of the 20 state-owned institutions had been using public resources to mine tokens. Their number included a computer room manager surnamed Ding at the Vocational Education Center in the Shangyu District, who had used the facility to mine Ravencoin RBN, for 111 days using three mining rigs and the facility's internet capabilities. Underscore learn more, Chinese courts sentence crypto, 